What is up guys? Welcome once again to another Motivational Monday! It's your boy Rod, and let's get ready for today's Motivational Push. Am I the only one that really likes Mondays? Come on, y'all. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, all right? Nobody wants to be at work on Monday. Everybody hates Mondays, but hey, this is why I do this for y'all, man. So we can go ahead and get through it together. All right, guys? So today's topic is something very important, something very powerful, and it has a very strong message behind it. So make sure you guys stay tuned right after the intro. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys not done so yet, feel free to go ahead and smash the like button. Also, comment if you think you need to do so. Subscribe onto the channel and share this video. You don't know whose life you can be impacting in the end of today's message. Now, getting into it right now, guys. Imagine waking up to going to school every single day and having zero motivation in doing so. Just imagine that. All of this due to a situation in which most kids probably would find funny and in this case the adults aka the teachers would just simply ignore it. And in today's society, silence is the new cry for help. And the sad part is that we won't even notice until it's fully displayed in a platform in which we are consumed by 85% of the time every single day. Now this is just an example how messed up this world is and how caught up this world is in this digital world in which we are constantly consumed by, right? As mentioned before, but God actually will see this as a, as, as a distraction. Now 1 Corinthians 7.35 says, I am saying this for your benefit, not to place restrictions on you. I want you to do whatever will help you serve the Lord best with as few distractions as possible. All right, now listen to this. Listen, Linda. listen. Loving your neighbor just as much as you love yourself is the best way in which you can actually right now benefit from doing the right thing. But why don't we? Well, one of the brightest minds in this world once said that the world would not be destroyed by the people who do evil but by those who watch without doing anything. Or in other words, you're just staring and letting it happen. You're that probable cause of the world ending. So how do you feel about that? I mean, honestly, what the heck do you get out of pressing record? Just to see how many likes you get, how many shares, or you know how many views you will get online? Like, what's up with that? What joy do you get out of that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I get it, I get it. You wanna be cool. You wanna be popular, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Think about this, think about this. Why not try seeking respect instead of attention? Cause all it takes is a turn of a cheek and the attention is gone. Compared to what people will have to say about you, what they will think, and once again, what they will have to say, whether you're there or not, just because you did the right thing at the right time. There's a lot of things that when put together in this world, look really damn good. For example, peanut butter and jelly, rice and beans. But I know one thing for a fact, you will never look good trying to make another person look bad. And that's a fact. So keep this in mind. Every single time you see someone get bullied and stand up for what's right and help that person, they can't help themselves. MLK said it best, guys. He said, never be afraid to do what's right, especially if the well-being of a person or an animal is at stake, okay? Society's punishment are small compared to the wounds we inflict on our soul when we look the other way. All right, guys? So have a great week and do the right thing, y'all. Please do the right thing. God bless. Salute.